Hi there, so in this video we're just going to have a quick look back at my targets. Obviously you probably, if you've seen my other videos, you probably know that my targets is my favourite um, archery scoring app to use at the moment and I've carried on using it um, throughout the summer of uh, 2020 since I discovered it and uh, carrying on using it into October. But one thing I did kind of complain, complain about at the time in the app was that it didn't show your name, really weird, didn't show your name on the score sheet, especially when you want to send it off or to someone else. And I, I sort of said in the comments and in the video uh, to the people who make my targets, please update it so that your name appears in the score sheet. But it turns out it's not their fault whatsoever, and they have included it. It's all my fault as a user, uh, as of as to the reason why my name is not showing on the score sheet. Now, some of you may already know the answers to this, but if you're having the same problem, this is how to fix it. And at the same time in this video, we'll also have a look at uh, the different uh, ways you can set up and customize your uh, score sheet. So if we just go into this um, frostbite that I shot the other day and then have a look at the score sheet. Previously, I would moan up here because it would have all the um, details about the bow I used, the weather, the round I shot, and the date. But it wouldn't have my name on here. And I was going, well, why is it not putting my name on here? And I was kind of getting a bit frustrated with it because it seemed to be the only thing that was wrong with the whole app. As it's a very, very good app and it's totally free. Um, and it's a brilliant scoring app. So it's now dawned on me how you do this, and this is how you do it. Right, so let's go back, and we're going to go onto the menu on the left-hand side here, and then to settings. Now, normally, um, you would change all of the details on the um, scoreboard screen here, which we're going to look at in a minute, and that's how you customize your reports that you get out. But what you need to do for your name is just go to the profile section on the top. And it dawned on me then that I'd not entered my name at all in the profile. So that was the reason why my name wasn't coming out on the report. So I'm sorry, my targets for moaning about that. So if I just add on my name now. Now, obviously, you could add in your birthday and your club uh, number and your license for your country. So for me, it'd be Archery GB. But now I've done that in the profile, I'm just going to come back out and go back into this frostbite and look at the actual report. And there appears my name at last. So if you wanted to add other details, obviously your club name would come out underneath that as well. And probably so would your license number and things like that. So that's how to get your name showing on your score sheet. Quite simple, really. Okay, so if we wanted to change any aspect of um, what you can see really in this report, um, we can change that. And if you go to the cogwheel um, while you're in the scoreboard, you get this screen. Now in here, there are several different options. At the minute, I've got all of them ticked. And the file type that I like to export to is PDF, but you can change it just to an image file if you want to. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to just show you what it looks like with the title removed. There you go. It's just removed that black and white title at the top. So if I go back in and turn that on, you see it says Frostbite at the top. So that's the title that you enter um, on the name of the round here. So this title here that you enter for the name of your round or whatever you put in there, to be honest, whether it's training or I think it defaults to the word training. So if you choose training from the bottom when you first create the round. So let's change some of the properties is that whole box. So you can see all of the properties. I just get the scores on the other sections. So I'm going to bring the properties back in. So the table is now going to disappear. There you go. So all my scores, my coloured lovely scores have disappeared. So that's the main part, the table. Now if we take the stats out, obviously my scores are back in. 
but the stats are gone at the bottom. So it goes straight from the, you won't see the averages um, and all of the different um, categories of scores that you shot. We'll add that back in. Um, finally, comments are going to be gone. I hadn't added any comments anyway, so it makes no difference to my score sheet. But if you'd added some comments into that round, you can make those um, hide or disappear. Now, if we choose um, non-coloured points, you can see here, they're just black and white on here. I quite like to see them coloured, but if you're printing out in black and white, you may have wanted to turn them off. You can see here, it comes back to coloured. I do like to see the colours. And finally, the signature. Obviously, if you sign it, but you don't want to see the signature printed out in the PDF, the signature disappears on the bottom. This does look a little bit squashed up because we've gone 10x all the way through to the bottom. Uh, it usually looks fine when it's five zone scoring on that. So that's how to kind of modify um, and change the report output, which is really, really simple. Now there is another way to get to this, to this settings, and you'll see here, if you go all the way back out under the main menu here, and then under settings, it's basically just a shortcut and it's under this part here, scoreboard. So that's another way to find it there as well. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to see and my other videos when they come out. Thanks very much for now. Bye-bye.